Hey guys, welcome to your first full leg day with me. I'm going to take you through everything that I do on a very intense leg day. So as you can see, I initially start with some stretching. I would recommend making sure that you stretch so that you do feel prepared for this because it's about to get crazy. As you can see, these are just some basic stretches that I do just to get warmed up. Super comfortable, keep it easy. Um, I'm always doing a minimal just because I love working out but just get back to the fun part so here's me with just a barbell only on these uh, free weights and I like to start with good mornings with the barbell just to stretch out my hamstrings and to really warm up my glutes and then I do some split squats here single leg as you can see and I do focus on doing 10 reps per leg without weight but you'll see in the future that uh, if there's weight, I need to do one leg at a time, one leg and then switch to the next leg. Yep, so as you can see, I added on some 25 pounds weights here, and I decided to do just some regular squats with this, just regular squats. Um, I do say focus on going as deep as you can. Stretching does help you go deeper, but try not to do a butt wink. The only wink you'll see on my butt is like my muscle and the glute media is flexing, but you will not see a back wink. You do not want that because that's improper form. So just stay away from that. But yeah, this is just me getting in. I try to get like 15 to 20 of these in just because it's that important to me. <laughs> and then I did these split squats, which is so hard. Oh my God. So you just like one leg at a time and you die, girl. You gonna die. You gonna die. But it's worth it. <laughs> From there, I upped the weight to do 35 pounds because it's really important when you are working out to do progressive overload. So that's what I was doing here. And yeah, just as you can see, I went ahead and put on the belt because we needed some, you know, heavy machinery. It just got real. So here's what I did for that. Yes, so I do recommend that you don't be stupid like me and make sure your bars are a little bit lower so you don't have to grab it weird. But yeah, I was just squatting in between the bar, little limitation things. Comment if you know what those are called. But yeah, just in case I couldn't make it, I squatted in between those. We're supposed to go all the way down to that, but I don't be going that low. But I, I think I did really well. Like, comment what you think. Like, I honestly record to give people insight into what to do at the gym, but also to see my own progress. And I think your girl was, you know, top tier in it. Like, look at this. Yeah. From there, as you can see, I moved into split squats, which was very scary, okay? <laughs> but I hit that. I, I was terrified the entire time. And that redhead guy behind me, he's so strong, y'all. He be lifting like three plates. He's very strong. I see him every morning. But beyond that, yeah, I was doing split squats, just trying to do splits one leg at a time, taking it easy, giving it to God. And yeah, it was so impactful. Honestly, barbell squats work your hamstrings, your quads, your abs. They work your back. They are very intense. So yeah, just be mindful of that. And here I just upped the weight and went up to 45 pounds because I'm a crazy girl. And yeah, I like to do crazy things. So that's what I did. Yep. And the bar was wrong again, but it's fine. And yeah, I just decided to go in and it felt light to me. Honestly, I've been building up to this for a while, so it wasn't that heavy. But I definitely recommend if you cannot do one, then or like if you can't do 10 of one weight, don't go up. But if you can do 10, you need to try to go up. So yeah, 
here I am going up again, 45, 25. This is when it got real. Like this is my my max, but I can do it now because I'm off of my period and because I took three days off. So these are two factors. You need to take time, and if you're on your period, you need to give yourself saving grace because your period will fail you. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was just killing it. You know, just like killing it easily carrying 45 and 25 and I was dying but it was fun at the same time honestly I feel like it's super important to do barbell squats because they do full body so I moved the camera over a little bit more just to see like the full back of me and I really was happy with that and as you can see your girl has been bulking it's bulking season but you know just wait on it just wait on the cutting season for my birthday y'all I'm gonna show y'all that on this channel too from there I just moved into hip thrust I grabbed this uh, max that's all I could find but yeah I just went ahead and did hip thrust um I started with just 45 but I didn't record it for some reason so I recorded the 245s I'm really proud of that y'all because it's been really hard for me to get up there but I got up there so as you can see 45 was um two plates was not that heavy for me this is not sped up or nothing but yeah it's super important to build your way up to here and then if you don't um you gotta try something else so yeah I just moved up then just from there to 245 and a 25 just because I'm crazy like that. Y'all, by the way, I ripped that mat. I ripped that mat. Well, it was already cracked. And I sort of like made it way worse. The guy behind me, it's I just realized he's deadlifting a 10. That's funny. But I don't know. It's not really funny. I don't mean it in no negative ways. I just meant it's ha 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 big guy wearing lifting a 20. Maybe he's doing something dynamic wise. Like, well, focus on me though. So here I am hitting that hip thrust with four, two 45s and a 25 like it was nothing like easy shit you know like easy and I'm very proud of that because it took me a while to get here honestly I could do three plates but I didn't today just because I don't know why I didn't I just wasn't doing it but I'm super happy with my progress and then from there the hack squat machine was taken by this older gentleman. So I know you see those gains. I know you saw that when I bent down. The hips is hipping the booty. Oh, 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 girl, where you get out of that afro? Girl, where you get out of that afro? But beyond that, I tried this new machine for the first time. This is the pendulum squat. And I just put two tins on there because, ow. So, yeah, here I am with the pendulum squat recording it. And um, here's a guy trying to wipe off a machine behind me. And um, yeah, this is super fun. Just penduluming. Look at me penduluming. And see who's hogging the hack squat, homeboy. But you know, you got to focus on yourself. You the prize. So look at me. I was hitting it. I was hitting it. This is a horrible machine. I hate this machine. You're supposed to go low. Like, I hope I'm going low enough. But you're supposed to go low. And it sucks. And I just build out quads. I don't want to build out quads. I just want to build out my booty meats. But it was still a good workout. And then while I waited for the hack squat, I did hip abductors, which I'm glad I did because I haven't done these in weeks. And these are a glute pump. You need, I took it off just to flex that I got some always pretty face and a big bang. So the big bank was banking, and then from there I got tired of that, and I did this gluteator machine. I don't know what this is called, but yeah, I was doing this machine, and I'm glad they put it towards the wall, because y'all see, it's pretty sexual. It gives sexual, but it's, oh, my glutes was on fire. You're supposed to put the seatbelt on. I didn't have a seatbelt on for a little bit, but I put the seatbelt on eventually, and it's, it hurts. My glutes hurt. I was literally going to stop doing these, but I was like, uh-uh, this is a really good booty machine. And my birthday's very soon. It's three weeks I did so many reps, y'all. And I put the belt on. I finally feel like it's about to get real. Like, I am gluteating 45 pounds. No jokes. So I was like, get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. So that's what I did. And you see me. You see the dynamic form. Like, look at that. Wow. Ow. Ta-da. Watch out now. It's the little one, but I'm not Bow Wow. And the glutes was gluten. I definitely do not know how to recommend you to do this properly. But just keep your keep your head up. Keep your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. And yeah, booty meets. Let the booty do. Oh, look at all of that. And the sweat. <sighs> your girl got to go work out in. 
this workout is the only reason why I go to yoga. This is what I look forward to every day. I think about this at night. Um, I uncovered that you are able to do step ups on the hack squat machine. Look at my right glute. The, the left glute is the one working, but the right glute is the one working. Like my leg is going down, but my booty is just dying. And it was crazy. And I hit it and it felt so freaking good to do it i love working out um so yeah i think she was doing step ups too but i don't know for sure for sure maybe we'll find out when she starts but yeah i was doing this and i was dying oh she was doing step ups <laughs> well uh, same <laughs> same sis oh we should have talked about that i didn't even see her i didn't even, i don't even see when i work out but um yeah i was doing step ups and then i did um oh you so thick i did good mornings <laughs> with this too y'all this is so fun so i did good mornings with this and yeah it was just amazing i think it's super important to use the machines hack squat machine for good mornings i it got really heavy after that i wonder if i filmed any of it Okay, I found this clip from working out last week, but this is exactly what happened this week. Just pretend like I'm wearing the same clothes. So, I hit four plates of hack squats. Super important to hit it, like, proper form. The only way you can get proper form is if you do a progressive overload. So, I took my time on this. It's been like a two to three, it's been like three months of hack squats, progressive overloads, and I finally got the four plates, and your girl is so happy. The main thing here is you want to just go down and up you don't want to go booty out and up because if you do that booty out and up thing then that means you have improper form and you need to go down weight like be real with yourself don't pretend like you can hit heavy weight if just to go through the motions like the main purpose of progressive overload is to progress but yeah that was the end of the video i was getting passionate at the end but yeah subscribe because I love working out, and I love showing y'all how I work out. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.